Today, I was having a discussion with some of the students about racism that they feel within schools and they feel as though schools that receive more funding look at them differently and think that they want to be involved in gangs and drugs and that as a whole African American or Latinos want to be in this situation. I feel like in other schools like the school I used to go to, I feel like they were more judgmental like they see certain kids doing it, so they're like, why can't you do it too? Mm -hmm. I feel they just didn't understand that there's just different situations for different people, and people learn differently. So, so do you think after you first you plan on going to college? I think I plan on going to college either way, mm -hmm. but the fact that I don't even have money to be able to go to a good college, like I want to go to UNSA first. I feel like this is not the type of money for me to just go there when I want to. Like, I'd have to start working myself and probably get two jobs. So we were basically talking about racism in school and how there's basically a misunderstanding about why suburban schools have more funding than um, urban schools. As a result of not getting enough funding, we experience low income disparities and the way that we're viewed from suburban people is different because they feel as though this is where we want to be and how we want to act and we choose to be this way and it's really just not like that. I think our mindset now is different from other kids because they don't know. Mm -hmm. So, oh, well maybe we could start, we could start helping by educating them about this. It's more like people that want to help you, like, mm -hmm. like supervisors, like they, they'll do anything for you, like to the point where they'll help you get your permit or license or anything. So it's just better opportunities and they want to see you get far because they've gotten far. Our students have expressed that they're being judged by other school systems based on the color of their skin or their ethnicity or their cultural background. Hey, you know, racism is alive and well. So I think we really need to prepare our students to take on positions of leadership and take really good jobs and prepare them really well. We can't control what people say to our students, but we can change the way that our students react you know, to that and respond to that in really positive ways and powerful ways.